I'm so glad we knew nothing about this movie coming in. This ride has been... Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarouse. And this is a movie reaction mm -hmm. that someone asked us to do yes. by commissioning it. Thank you. So thank you for yeah. paying for this. <laughs> uh, this is Predestination, mm -hmm. the Ethan Hawke film from... Um, Two thousand something. Ago? Yeah, I think it's two thousand five. I think it's oh. seventeen years old. Oh boy! Um, okay. Yeah, I I, I literally have never seen a trailer for this. I know nothing about it. No idea. Uh, going in like completely without any ideas. I think it's a sci-fi film, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, should we just jump into it? <laughs> Sure. If you want the full you're actually go over to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't, as always, just stay here because you're here and it's about to get good, maybe. We don't know yet. Uh, well, we'll find out we'll together. We'll find out. <laughs> it contains homophobic or transphobic language and depictions that may be upsetting to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, at least they like put it up. There's a lot of films of a certain era that like to use... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not like to. It was just the they were written in a different time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if I could put him in front of you, the Dude. man that ruined your life? Oh. If I could guarantee that you'd get away with it, would you kill him? I guess it depends what he did to me. Yeah. I'm not really looking to murder anybody, you know. Yeah, I already have a hard enough time sleeping. I have a very guilty conscience, so I don't think, I don't feel like I would get away with it, and I feel like I would just worry about that for the rest of my life. Yes. Even if you're like, no, it's the perfect murder, you're gonna get away with it, my anxiety would not allow me to ever stop thinking about it. I still think about the shoplifting I did when I was 12 that I know I'm not gonna get in trouble for. Okay. Definitely a sci-fi movie. Is this Inspector Gadget? <laughs> do, 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 do. I love the trope of like the fancy briefcase, but the old timey revolver. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did only his face burn? The jacket might be like flame retardant. <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen one! Wow. You were meant to destroy the Sith, not join them! If at last you do succeed, never try again. <laughs> so did the guy who just shot him help him? Kind of seemed... The press have dubbed him the Fizzle Bomber. We stopped him this time. But this was only a small attack. How did they land on Fizzle? I have no idea. March 1975. He keeps changing the day. The explosion will level 10 blocks of New York and leave over 11,000 dead. Jesus. Your vocal cord damage has reduced, but will not regrow exactly the same way. There goes my singing career. It's Ethan Hawke. That changed so much. <clears throat> I doubt my own mother would recognize me. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm, if his voice, if that's his voice the whole movie, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love that. Oh. The order finally came through today. Okay. No, he's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. Moon Knight. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> Is Moon Knight the only thing you've seen Ethan Hawke in? Maybe. Wow. I love him. He's an incredible actor. He's the reason I was excited to do this reaction, because uh, I just, I adore him. 
Do you accept that any diversion from your mission parameters will result in the immediate court martial? And if convicted, death by lethal injection. I do. Cool. I was gonna say, what if this guy, what if Ethan Hawke is the bomber? Yeah. Because it's a new face. The reveal, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think is gonna happen too. Yeah, okay, okay. We were born into this job. Also, so this takes place in like the early seventies. If the if seventy five is when the big bombing is gonna go off, I think that this takes place in the future, and that he is going back in time to the seventies. Nah, this looks like the seventies. Right. No, but I think that he's from the future, right? Because otherwise, how would he know that the attack's coming? Right. For, for, like, the opening of the movie, I felt like that was a lot of intrigue with not a lot of information, but in a way that, like, I'm, 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 it's I'm interesting. into it. It's yeah, interesting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, his watch has, like, the date on it, so yeah. he must be a time traveler. I feel like the violin case is the time machine. What can I get you? Hold on to where. Because the violin case is nondescript enough and has existed through, an, like, a few hundred years of history, right? What do I look like? Just making conversation, Jesus. Uh, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? The rooster. Ah, oh, shit. See? I'm terrible. That's the best you got? Yeah, That's well, not funny. I told you it wasn't. The way this scene is staged, there is a couple sitting at the bar in, in between, between them that they are shouting over. I know. What does that mean? But because, because of the tights, you can't. Poor sense of word. I write confession stories. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. The unmarried mother. It's my pen name. Like them, these yeah. two people are talking in between them. <laughs> Business is okay. I have a weekly column. I write them. They print them. I eat. Right? Will you read my work? Yeah. Yeah. Now it seems to me you got a real hit on the woman's angle. Woman's angle. Yeah. Why, you, uh, you married? You got sisters? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Is the fact that that's a woman supposed to be a reveal? Forget it, man. I'm not telling you. Oh, you're scared it's not good enough. Oh, you think that'll work? Oh, yeah. Are we 12? <laughs> well, there's a lot of selfish assholes out there needing a good shake-up. They should be afraid. <laughs> Jesus, that's bleak. It feels like this is an action movie written by a playwright. Like, this scene is so long. Mm-hmm. And so static. Now listen, you keep promising the best story of my life. But I'm not hearing anything. When I was a little girl. What? Oh, you want me to tell my story? No, I just, I thought. Okay. Okay, so it was the, a reveal. You ever hear Christine Jorgensen, Roberta Cal? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, they had the sex change, uh, Says you, you. Don't interrupt. You asked him a question. <laughs> I, yeah. September 13th, 1945. He, he literally did interrupt. You asked a question. A newborn left on an orphanage doorstep. I was never sick. Not one day, so I was never taken to a hospital. Oh, she's a super baby. This movie is bizarre. Yeah, yeah, it is. When I was little, I envied kids with parents. That's so heartbreaking. Yeah. Jesus. Damn straight. Jane! Come here now. Son of a bitch. I don't know that I could punch through that headlight. But as I got older, I knew something was different about me. She really likes that doctor. She, she likes that doctor. Oh! Sex confused me, you know? The way it works, the way everything fits. I mean, you were a child, that's fair. And even back then, I knew that I was going to be different from all the other girls. So I focused my attention on more important things. Like learning how to fight. Did he pull a chair behind the bar? I guess, yeah. Okay. And I was smart, too. 
Top of the class. Jane, how do you ever expect to learn anything if you never end up being? Math and physics were my favorite subjects. We're figuring out two times five plus five is 15. That's like the most basic math question possible. Just five plus five plus five. If you can't figure that out. They, they could have just chosen a more complicated equation to show that she's good at math. But like two times five plus five is like. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how it is? People want to adopt a little golden haired moron. And later on, the boys, they want big tits and pouty lips. <laughs> you know, perfect accessory. If this movie is a story about like a transgender life in 2005, that's like very ahead of the times for that. Yeah. Around the time the suits finally admitted you can't send men into space for months or years and not do something to relieve the tension. They were looking for respectable types, preferably virgins. They like to train them from scratch. <laughs> but most of the volunteers were hookers or neurotics who would crack up 10 days off Earth. They weren't special. What the fuck is this movie about? <laughs> <laughs> Please take your glasses off. <laughs> mm. She looks so different without her glasses on. <laughs> Clark Kent? Have you? Hey, got him! I like her. If they accepted me, they'd teach me how to walk and dance and, you know, how to listen to a man pleasingly. <laughs> Why would you need to know how to walk and dance? You're gonna be in space. You can't do either of those things there. Same way today's flight angels marry spacers. They talk the same language. Right. What is a flight angel and a spacer? What the no fuck idea. is happening in this, this movie? movie? is wild. I thought it was about time travel, but it seems like she's in the future. I'd never seen the world so clearly before. I just... It, Help me out here. The plot of this is that she is in a program to become to be a, a to have sex with astronauts in yes, space. Yes. They tested our endurance, made sure yes. we were fit for space travel. Because they were gonna have a lot of sex. Do they have a fight club I in astronaut sex school? <laughs> I don't know. I'm... Come on, Marcy. Come on, Is this the Hunger Games? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a bomb is going to blow up New York City in 1975. Yes. That is the... You do know that this will disqualify her. You've not told the recruit? No. Don't. I'll go to the Board of Appeals. I'll do everything to get you re-enlisted. I promise. Trust me, Jane. When you finished with your meal, It was the first time I wasn't good at something. Even when I wasn't expecting it. I don't blame you for that. Yeah. I met him. <laughs> I am... I'm so baffled by this movie. Yeah. I thought this so was a detective sorry. story about finding a bomber. There he was. He was handsome, rich. He treated me with a kindness that I'd never experienced before. You know, he actually had wads of hundred dollar bills in his pocket. He's not running the bar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he also has the same kind of reaction to this story that I do of like, where, where are you going with this? Yeah. You shoot pool? Yeah. I never thought it would happen. Falling for someone. All my little rules about being pure went out the window. One night, he sat me down, told me to wait for a moment. Where are you going? He told me he'd be right back. Is he the lover? I never saw him again. He never came back. More eager than ever to rejoin Space Corp. Just wanted to fuck astronauts in space. <laughs> We use Space Corp, among others, as a means of finding people who are special. And they are what you might call a recruitment agency. Couldn't believe it. it. Seemed like I had a bright future ahead of me. Then why did you send her away to be a mother's helper? It wasn't until my skirts got tight that I realized my future was over. You were pregnant? Yeah. This movie is wild. Ha <laughs> ha
One night I found myself on an operating table with a nurse saying... Relax, Jane, relax. Now breathe deeply. You pulled through fine. Is cesarean, doctor, is my baby okay? Oh, your baby's fine. Have you ever had a thorough examination before? Yes. You had two full sets of organs, Jane. Female and male. Both immature. But the female set, well enough developed for you to have a baby. But the reconstruction allowed us to create a male urinary tract. Further surgeries will be required. Your bones will readjust. We'll watch your hormonal balance. It's not a death sentence. Your life can continue. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand. I... I don't think that... I don't think that's how that works. I have no idea. I had to do right by my baby Jane. But two weeks later, that didn't mean anything. What? What happened next? She was snatched. What the fuck? What do you mean snatched? Kidnapped. <laughs> this movie is so weird! Just a man. With a face-shaped face. Like yours or mine. The face-shaped face. Kudos for saying that line with a straight face. Well done. I don't know if I could have said a man with a face-shaped face like yours and mine and... Uh, this movie's 2014. Surprising, right? That... It, yeah. Interesting. Well, I just yeah. found out this morning that I'm not shooting rags anymore. Well, all right. Doctor's prognosis, I'm a fully fertile male specimen. Well, let me be the first to congratulate you. Welcome to the tribe. So, do I win the bottle? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> oh my God, is he about to tell an even crazier story? Well, so is that it? Story's over? Yeah, afraid so. Beth Featheridge. Isn't that the name of your caretaker at the orphanage? Beth? Son of a bitch. What the fuck? Your name as a woman was Jane, right? You told me that. You didn't tell me your name as a man, John. Which is not terribly original, but... <laughs> Don't mess with me. But you're working with Robertson? Yes, I am, and he wants me to help you. Okay. Okay. Jerry, <laughs> going on a break. He's been on break this whole time. <laughs> this movie's so weird. So the entire first half of the movie was just to set up that they're... What are you doing? Killing somebody's not easy, you know. What if they're the same person? And he's him from the future. When it comes time to pull the trigger, most people can't do it. They're different heights. Mm. This is a USFF coordinates transformer field kit. No moving parts, it weighs approximately six kilos, fully charged. I've adjusted it to support our body mass. It will calculate a discrete arrival location. Wait, it weighs differently if it's charged? Well, everything weighs differently when it's charged, but... Wait, really? Yeah, batteries weigh more when they have, technically, by, like, a minuscule amount. Look, don't be alarmed. Right? You have to stand closer. You have to be within three feet. What have you got two guns for? Don't worry. I've done this a lot. Seriously, pal, you need to stop playing games with me. Stand still. Okay, take a deep breath and hold this. <laughs> what do I need to close? The sound design of that effect was really cool. Yeah. The Temporal Bureau. Is that the company you work for? That's right, the one you almost worked for. So where's Robertson? He's in 1985. I'm a Temporal Agent, one of 11. We prevent crime before it takes place. Cool. 
I cool. can't believe this. And so um, I get to be one of these, uh, you know, a temporal agent. If you prove yourself. So what's this guy to you? Well, I'm starting to suspect that he might be the fizzle bomber. All right. But all that's clear is he's the main obstacle that's held you back. Is she going after the guy who got her pregnant or the yes. guy who, or is he going after the guy who got her, him, her pregnant? Oh my God. <laughs> or the person who stole their baby. Oh, I thought it was the person who got them pregnant, but I don't know. No. Okay. I don't know. Do I have a choice? Of course, you always have a choice. Yeah, but sometimes don't you think that things are just inevitable? <laughs> yes, the thought has crossed my mind. No family. No. But you do have a purpose. That's not nothing. So they think he might be the fizzle bomber, so they're going to have him die? Yeah. Well, luckily they just found a person who might want him dead. I... I'm so sorry. Are you lost? No, I'm looking for someone. Thanks. Wait, 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 wait. The baby is... But only the things left behind by those who hustle. He impregnates himself? I was thinking the exact same thing. What are the odds? Are you okay? I'm not! I... <laughs> How did she not know that it was herself? Like previous self. <laughs> this is insane. You, how do you go through with impregnating yourself? How do you do that? I don't know. What the fuck is happening? I, I so. I wish I could have been there when they like read the script for the first time. They're like, I'm sorry, what? Is that him but with a fake beard on? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, this movie is wild! It might be. It might be John with a fake beard? I don't know. That's what I mean. But it, all, it could also be him with a fake beard. Wait, but he was there defu- those shots fired- wait. Yeah, so he just watched himself- he just watched himself get blown up. Yeah. By the guy- Oh, because he was there trying to change his own future. Y yeah. Or past, sorry. <laughs> and he fucked up. He wasn't able to. So he saved himself. And that's John D So he is John. But he would know what he looked like, like before PhD he got a new face. To understand this movie. What is happening? Okay. Okay, so he... At the beginning of the movie, Semi stopped the bomb. And then got this face. Then went back and had a conversation with himself... 
took himself back to his own past so that he could impregnate himself so that he could go into the future and fight himself. I don't know. I, th I think that's the plot of this movie. I don't get out and meet a lot of new people. Well, thankfully it's not a new person. <laughs> Those tasks are easier than others, but it's imperative that you succeed. At impregnating yourself. I can read minds. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. You're thinking charm class isn't helping this situation. Wow. Amazing. This is some like weird Loki shit. <laughs> I think this scene is supposed to be serious, but I think this is the funniest shit I've ever watched. This is wild. You're right. I'm sorry for being so direct. He is using his memories of the situation to fuck himself. You said... Ethan Hawk kidnaps the baby? This shit is crazy! She'll endure so much pain because of what I do. That's the way it has to be. That's the way it's always been. You should understand that better than anyone. A snake that eats its own tail forever and ever. You're here to create history and influence what is to come. Okay. Okay. You have a long journey ahead of you. Oh my God. She grows up, has a sex change, impregnates herself. Yeah. So that she can, can be have born. Herself. Yeah, but, but what's the start of that process? <laughs> what the fuck? How? No, no, I'm sorry, no. What? Safe journey, Jane. Stay strong, John. You have a bright future ahead. You do? <laughs> I want to be at the meeting of the Time Bureau where they got together and were like, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this girl grow up to impregnate herself so that she can be bored so that we can... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. You thought incest was bad. Well, <laughs> we're taking it Someone to a whole Someone saw Game of and was like, I have an idea. <laughs> oh my god. You sick fuck. You tricked me. The choice. You're the one who fucked yourself. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's a mistake to think that we can change certain events. It's like you said, some things are inevitable. But I love her. I know. Love, you're just... <laughs> you know who she is, and you understand who you are. And now maybe you're ready to understand who I am. Jesus Christ. 
I don't want to leave her. You're not. How did she not remember the face? I don't... Oh my god. I'm so glad we knew nothing about this movie coming in. This ride has been... When you reach your final destination, you feel good will decommission. As per regulation. You sure you want to retire to New York? So close to the date of the blast. Retire? They let them retire? Like that's uh, Retirement in this kind of line of work is... Farm up state, you know what I mean? Jesus. Old McDonald and all that. Yeah. That was quite the break. Oh, it's the ball of doors he gave himself when he told himself the story about how he fucked himself so that he could impregnate himself and be born as himself so that he could kidnap himself. Is that the bomb that blows up and he is accidentally the fizzle bomber? Is the fizzle bomber just the death location of all of the agents? Fragments of matter you leave behind after each jump, we can only repair so much. The onset of psychosis, dementia, and it can be serious. I'm fine. Time travel can be disorienting. Don't ever exceed the jump limit. <laughs> he is every character in the movie. Yeah. Oh my god. And ever. I know where I come from. But where do all you zombies come from? Jesus. Wow, this is so this bizarre. Is, yeah, mm hmm. I've saved lives more than I ever could have from inside the bureau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. 1974, Chicago chemical spill. A driver never made it to work. 1991, April 3rd, Hamburg, Germany. 1,861 lives saved. I will never become you. I'm curious. Did you report that your decommissioned field kit didn't decommission? <laughs> what if I put him in front of you? The man who ruined your life. Forget all that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We've done that. That's happened like six times in this movie. No. Okay. Fucked himself, he killed himself, he kidnapped himself. What hasn't he done to himself at this point? <laughs> oh my god. You see, I, I, I love her too. But, but her is you. <laughs> yes. is that you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I miss you dreadfully. Myself? I... what? I... Huh. Is there a post-credit scene? No. 
Ha! I understand why uh, someone was like, I, I need you guys to watch this movie. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I get it. That is... The that that is something. That is a that is a whole movie. It is a movie. Wow. I I couldn't I couldn't guess that that's where it was going. <laughs> I just can't I can't believe that that's as high quality as it is. That's kind of the craziest part, right? Like that this isn't like a weird like B list. It's like, not terribly done. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I would go on to say it's really well made. It is really well made. It is just so hard to get past how insane it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well. Cuz I was super I was actually like pretty into it. Even though I I didn't I I I feel like they could have condensed the backstory the storytelling sequence. Mm -hmm. Um and I I think that this movie's I like if you told me this movie was like 2005, I think it makes more sense. Yeah. The I feel like the intersex dynamic of it is a little bit um isn't handled the best. It's not it's new for 2015 as it should have been. Yeah. But but and and like it, it's I I don't love that he fucks himself and impregnates himself. Like it's it's kind of insane. Having said that, I. I, it's it's a well made movie like with great performances. The cinematography is really well done. The action is like not cannot, amazing, but it's not bad. I cannot imagine falling in love with myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> 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 Fuck you! What? What? I don't know how you love me. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were saying that you don't know how I fell in love. Like I'm so in love with myself. No, no. I thought you were fucking calling me out for being a narcissist. Sure, that that works too. No, I. I was like, I don't. I don't know how. <laughs> I thought you were being like this motherfucking narcissist right here. I don't he know gets how it. How he could fall in love with him. Have you seen this guy? No, I... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Wow, wow. That wow, you, he... Oh, you my made God. my joke so much funnier, so thank you for that. Thank you. That was incredible. Uh, so, okay, so let, let's just go over the timeline of this movie. Th this how? guy <laughs> goes back in time and works at a bar. Uh-huh. Where he hears his own life story uh -huh. so that he can take that person back in time so that he who is himself can fuck himself to impregnate him. her who is it's him. True. Yeah. She so that they can have a has baby. The baby who, who is but, also the same person. But in the process of having the baby, they have to remove the ovaries and create male genitalia with them. Yes. Um, which... Start to be fertile 10 years later? I guess because of the testosterone. Like, I genuinely I have no idea how that works. Anyway, the, the, that might be possible. I don't know. I'm not no a doctor. Idea, yeah. I'm not an expert in this. Yeah. But, but, he then goes back in time again to kidnap the baby that is himself. To put it in an orphanage. To put so it in an orphanage so that it can grow up to be he her, to have, to get, fall in love with himself. That. And and then he becomes the fizzle bomber at the end. Uh, the movie should have spent more time on the like how he becomes the fizzle bomber part. Yeah, I don't understand how he got there. I'm assuming he just like the 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 temptation to like time jump is too high, and so he ends up doing it, and he ends up fucking up his brain. No, he becomes the fizzle bomber to create himself. What? So so in order for the bomb to go off, so that he has his face scarred to become the agent that he is. He has to blow up. He has to be the fizzle bomber so that he can chase himself so that he can create okay, himself. Okay, but what if he didn't, though? But that's the problem with the whole movie. Yeah. Is that the, like, what if you didn't? The, but, like, also, how, how did they start the paradox? Like, they bring up the chicken and the egg, and then they're like, oh, it's the rooster, which implies that there's a man who created them. But, like, who? But I think the guy orchestrating the whole thing, I guess? No, but His he boss? can't. He can't. 
fuck himself before he existed. Like the paradox of at the center of the movie is so impossible. Who created the first Jane? So that Jane could grow up to become John, to fuck Jane, to birth Jane again. Right? You... <laughs> yes. Like, like the central paradox of the movie is so impossible that, like, none of it works. Yeah. But it's well made. Yeah. And oh, Ethan yeah. Hawke and Sarah Snook both give, like, really good performances throughout it. Like, the yeah, the movie buys into its own idea, which I think is why it, like, it kind of works, but it doesn't work if you think about it at all. <laughs> I cannot believe that he is almost every character in the movie except Robertson. And the nurse, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I cannot believe that he fucks himself and impregnates himself and has a baby with himself. Yeah, it, that's And that really baby weird. is himself. Yes. It's like the whole, like, Doctor Who meme when you watch... Oh, man. When you, like, watch your wife shoot your wife who's pregnant with her wife or whatever it is with River Song and... and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever that meme is, very funny. Um, I can't believe that this is a thing. I because that, that caught. What was the budget of this movie? They spent millions of dollars. I mean, there's not any like crazy effects in it, right? The time travel is very well done. I love this time travel effect. Oh, it's the, well done, the but it's sound not design complicated. Of it? Excellent. Like I just mean it's not a bunch of expensive. This has CGI. an eighty-four on Rotten Tomatoes. That is shocking to me. Although I guess it's twenty fifteen, so maybe it's just a different time. But like maybe yeah. Because I don't know that the movie's good. It's something. I'm going to be thinking about it for a while. Oh, wow. The critics' consensus on the movie is fun genre fair with uncommon intelligence. Predestination serves as a better-than-average sci-fi adventure and offers a star-making turn for Sarah Snook. I, I agree with that. I, okay. I, like, I think that... I think that she gives the performance of the movie. I mean, better than average. What else came out around that time? Fucking Jupiter Ascending and some shit? So... Sure, better than average. Okay, okay. Definitely, like, took bigger swings. Like, I'm not going to fault the movie for, like, taking a big swing. Oh, no. It's, right? It's 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 not bad. It's, it's just, just baffling. It's just so crazy. Yeah. It's, yeah. And that's what's wild about it, right? It's like, it's, it's kind of a good movie. I was not, I, I was a little bit bored in the, like, storytelling section. Yeah. Remember that there's a part of this movie where they're training women to fuck astronauts in space? Like, that on its own is a fascinating concept for a movie that is an unimportant background detail in this thing. Is that a historical thing? Uh, no! Okay, it wasn't that I was aware of either, but I was like, you know what? It's actually, that sounds like something men would do, so... I mean, maybe, maybe it is. But, like... I don't know. I guys, yeah. I don't know. The astronauts just need some like virgins to impregnate and marry when they're done. Like it, that that seemed very um America. <laughs> I think that my problem with this movie is that it has such a serious tone and it plays like a comedy to me. Right, right, right. Because I I just found like the moment where I realized before the movie said it that he was going to fuck himself and yeah. impregnate himself with himself. That, like that is such a hilariously weird concept that I, I I I kind of couldn't take it seriously after that. Like it's like someone asked the directors and writers. They were like, okay, so like, if you could have sex with yourself, would you? And they were like, hmm, what an interesting prompt for a script. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. I would. I don't know that I would fall in love with myself though. That makes it weirder. Because at the end, that when when Ethan Hawke when they're on the bench scene where he's like, I love her too yeah and i'm like you both are but but then if you love her then you also love him yeah because they're all the same person they're all the same person unless unless it's like after the pr procedure that is the like physical sex change they disassociate from her no as, idea or maybe it's the when they travel through time that first time together they know that they they start to have a psychotic episode for the rest of the movie that where they like no. disassociate her from being him. No, I don't know. I've never had, here's the thing. I've never gone through any like dramatic surgery that changed my physical being completely. There's a lot of trauma associated with that. So maybe, maybe oh, 100%, yeah. it's part of that, you know? I, yeah, this, this is one of those movies where like, I, 
it, it feels weirdly ahead of its time and also weirdly behind its time at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's a, it's a, yeah, that was wild. It was something. Wild. I can't believe that was made in 2017. You said. 2015, 15? sorry. 2015? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like, I'm, I feel like I'm not even really talking about the movie. I'm just tr- still trying to process it. It's so many things. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. I, yeah, I, I, I got nothing. I wish we'd been high. Can you imagine our response to this film if we'd been high for this? Oh, God, Jesus. Well, that's our reaction. Um, Thanks for uh, sticking along for the ride. Yeah. I, I I cannot believe that that exists. I, I actually can't. I can't believe that that movie exists. Right? Like, it's I just can't. I can't it's, fathom it. It's a big creative swing. Yeah, it is a it is a big creative swing. Holy balls! Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't hit the dislike button, leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. Uh, the algorithm goddess in this episode. Well, there's only one woman in the movie. Uh, no, there's two. Should we feed the nurse or should we feed uh, Jane? No, we're gonna feed the the not not the nurse. We'll feed the um uh, the the orphanage lady at the beginning who just gets railed That's on the, the nurse. I thought you meant the nurse from the hospital with the baby where she was born. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that nurse. And I was thinking about what? the nurse from, the, yeah, the one who gets raped. Feed them all. Feed them all. Feed all of them, please. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you absolutely can do that. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clars Polaris. And do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye. Bye.